Hey, uh, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43, and I'm here to give you the month of May, your 2024 karma reading for the zodiac sign of Pisces. Thank you, Pisces, for always coming back time and time again to rock with your girl and watch my channels. You guys always show so much love and support through your compliments, your comments, and just coming back time and time again. I really appreciate your loyalty and your love. You guys are awesome. You rock. Thank you. Always go to God for everything. In this karma reading, I will be doing from Aries Zodiac to Pisces, and then I'll start with the overall energy. I'll start with that card first, and then I'll close out your reading with messages from the Love and Light deck by Jareen Virtue. I love this deck. I love the messages. They do have scriptures from the Bible and beautiful messages and pictures accordingly. So I love that. If you guys want to look up um, the Bible scriptures that I call out, you're more than welcome to. I encourage you to if you want. They're beautiful messages. I love it. Please remember that when you guys are listening to these karma readings that anybody can, you know, resonate. It don't even have to be these zodiac signs that I call out. It could just be certain people come to mind that just couldn't be embodying that energy. So they really could be in that energy. So I'm more big. I'm big on um, the messages and the energy more than the zodiacs. But I'm guided to do this type of reading and I'm excited to do it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Either way, I'm cool. And just remember that these people are reaping what they have sown. They're not going to get away with hurting you. They're not going to get away with making your life harder than it should have been and betraying you. They don't get to get away with that. Forgive them, pray for them, and just remember that even though you guys have forgiveness in your heart, you guys are the bigger person, you're the better person, just remember that does not excuse them from getting lots of harsh consequences. The evil that they sent out is coming back and it, it usually comes back harder. I've, I've seen this for people. So pray for yourselves, pray for them, and pr hopefully they'll get it right with God and right their wrongs with you and, and other people and learn to love themselves so that we can have a more healed world. We definitely need that because we have a lot of mental instability and a lot of people that are lost souls at this time. Um, it's pretty scary out there if you guys have seen it. So keep yourselves uh, prayed up and protected and um, use your discernments. Um, very wisely. All right. Always do what's best for you and your family and um, keep loving God, loving yourself and keep going forward. You guys got this. The overall energy is in regards to those who betrayed you, you guys start off with a lesson. It says sometimes people are somewhat consistent to rob, trap and steal from you. So Pisces, what you guys have learned is that sometimes people put their best foot forward in the beginning. People usually do, especially if they're trying to date you or get to know you, or be a friend to you, they're more laughable, they're laughing, they're having a good time, they're taking you out on dates, or giving you more energy, they're trying to impress you, they may be more consistent, they may give more time and energy, and affection and love. You guys have learned that that initial consistency with a lot of people who betrayed you, with those who betrayed you, that initial consistency that was to capture your heart. That was to capture your energy, your love. Over time, you guys discovered that it's important to observe people to see if they're reflecting based on who they were in the beginning. Because what happens is these narcissists, they have lost their mask. Many of them are exposed or they're going to be. And so a lot of them, these cowards, they're running wild because there's nowhere else for them to go. Everybody is catching them up. And seeing them for who they are and people are not pleased they're cutting them off and i see this all the time even even today i've seen it so yeah it's rough you know it's, it's really rough for these people and it's going to get worse for them until they you know get in alignment with god and do right by you and those that they betrayed so you guys have a lesson of watching and observing for consistency with people and patterns of their behavior because these narcissists are excellent liars and master manipulators you guys know i teach this and you can learn from millions of other people about, you know, these behaviors of these narcs. They are very convincing. So some of them may have had some love for you in the beginning and they may have cared for you in the beginning, but typically they're cheaters. And this is why their energy changes because they give effort to other people. And what it is, a lot of times people don't even want to be with them. They choose to be with them, like the people they chose over you and the people they cheated with, they cheat on you to be with. Those people they cheated on you to be with, those karmics, they only wanted them for the energy because the energy you gave 
was something they were emulating. They were trying to copy like your energy and your lifestyle is what that karmic wanted to copy off of. They wanted to have the same love and the romance and all of that, even if it was fake or real. They wanted that lifestyle. They wanted that energy refill. So when you guys pull back your energy and you guys have wisened up, you went on your spiritual awakenings, they don't know what, none of these people know what to do with themselves. So typically the karmics, they leave or God will send a tower and knock it down and they are separated. So they lose, you know, all these evil people, they lose in the end. So you guys have learned some valuable lessons here. Keep learning. You guys are going the right way. In regards to the Aries that betrayed you guys, they have to watch you guys reap a beautiful harvest of new beginnings, new love, and uh, new romance, um, newfound peace, newfound self-love. If you guys weren't doing tarot before, you are now, or you guys have more creative projects. So you guys have new blessings coming in that may even surprise you. It's like God is opening this beautiful treasure chest of new gifts, new blessings, and wonderful things coming your way, more, more ways to manifest money and just all kinds of wonderful things. So keep learning, keep going, keep growing. In regards to the Taurus that betrayed you guys, you guys are walking karma, okay? Your truth speaks volumes. Keep speaking your truth. Narcissists hate that, but it's what they needed. You guys have to find your voice within and let it out. Standing your truth, be clear and to the point and let people figure out things for themselves. Once you guys have spoke your truth, you guys will have more peace, you'll rest more easy and easier. It will get better for you because you're being real and they have to work hard at being fake. People will catch on and they will be cut off. They will be reprimanded. They will face consequences, not just from spirit, but from people in the physical because people feel duped that they caused you guys to not have a connection or they caused you guys to not have um, certain blessings that you definitely deserve to have. In regards to the Gemini that betrayed you, this person is experiencing heart problems. I don't know if you guys have had heart conditions you guys have definitely suffered from heartbreak because of them. And now they are having heart palpitations and heart conditions and heart problems. Whatever they've done to you, any evil that they sent your way, any evil spare, spell work or any type of um, hurt and suffering that they caused you and your family, it's coming back on them physically. A lot of them will end up on medication or in the hospital because of it. It's going to stem from the heart. So you're going to hear about them having um, heart problems even if it don't even run in their family. You know, spirit does not play. He will come for their money. God will come for their money, their health, everything. So what was done to you is being done to them. It's usually worse. In regards to the cancer who betrayed you, they have to live with the fault. They have to live with the fact, excuse me, every day that they are at fault for causing you guys to break up, break apart, or for you to walk away and leave their life. They know they were in the wrong and they have to live with that. There's a lot of heavy guilt there. For the Leo that hurt you guys, they are under review for betraying you. And this is heavy. This is super heavy. Being under this review, they don't wish, you know, most people would say they don't, most people, and even you guys would probably say this, Pisces, that you don't wish this on your worst enemy. This person chose to be an enemy of yours, okay? You didn't view them like this. They chose this path and they chose wrong. And they're under review from spirit, which means spirit wants to hear them i'm hearing want to hear them trap themselves spirit wants to hear them try to explain why they put you through hurdles and heartbreak and heartache and misery for nothing because you didn't deserve it they want to hear this person basically trap themselves it's a way of making them reflect even though they thought they can run and get away with it and they cannot being under this review is going to be harsh i feel like they're going to break down they are going to suffer. They are not going to be able to stand on their lives. They're not. They're in trouble with God. Being under this review, your ancestors, they got involved and in, um, your loved ones on the other side, they went to God about how this Leo and other people betrayed you. This person is being forced to answer for what they did, not just when they passed from this world, but right now, today. I'm hearing in real time. So under this review, all I can say is this, whatever harsh consequence they're about to get, and I feel like it's going to be many, there's one that stands out that I don't know, you know, how far or how, or what spirit's going to do, but it's so heavy. 
it's um it's scary it's scary this person will be um i'm hearing terrified because it could be really um oh i'm getting a lot of words i don't even get so i'm gonna leave it there just know that there's something that's about to rock this person for the virgo that hurt and betrayed you guys they definitely cheated on you if this was romantically speaking for others of you they chose drugs if you guys were just family members or um, maybe you guys were really close at one point close friends a best friend or something like this the third party was lying on you you guys may even know who the third party is if the third party is not an actual thing because it can be a you know it can be a family member but it can also be a thing not just always you know another man or another woman it's not always a karmic for a lot of you it is a karmic and that person lied on you a lot of you guys know this or you will be finding this out and you'll notice because that karmic is sick i feel like a lot of people are about to get real sick physically and mentally the hurt the pain the problems of attacking your health affecting your health it's all going back and it's going back heavy it's going back hard the karmic is going to be sick and you guys will probably hear about this. This person will be in the hospital or they're going to get something. They're going to have to be on heavy medication. Some I'm here a while. Some of them may or may not recover from that. Whoa. You know, these people, they, wow, these people, they're, a lot of people I feel like are in trouble, big trouble for hurting and betraying you. For the Libra that caused a lot of pain and misery in your life, you have a newfound self-awareness. A lot of people fear your gifts especially for you light workers and chosen ones because you keep getting gifts they cannot keep up with you they want to send spell work and different things nothing's working it's blowing up in their face it's backfiring you guys are self-aware of your boundaries you're self-aware of how you feel you're connected you're truly tapped in and they cannot take it but they also cannot break you and there's nothing they can do about it they know you're woke and they know that you're here to stay you are walking your true path and there's nothing they can do about it. For the Scorpio that betrayed you, you may or may not have known, but you know now, I'm telling you, they spent a lot of money on rituals. I'm getting that energy in your reading, not just them, but other signs as well um, in your reading. Other people, a lot of people spent money on rituals um, to try to like block your money or block your finances, block your financial growth and stability. A lot of your money was... A lot of you had money problems. It was under attack. But you guys are coming up and out of this. This is why God blessed you guys with other gifts to like be your own boss and be entrepreneurs, be successful, you know, tap into other gifts and other um, things that you guys are good at. Go back to school, get education or get into something unique and different. Could be oracle readings, tarot readings. It could also be like. Um, newfound teachings you guys are willing to tap into different things now and just kind of see what works and you're you're willing to try other avenues other areas some of you guys would be great speakers awesome helpers counselors in some form you guys have many many avenues you guys are willing to keep trying things and god loves this so even if something don't work out that's okay keep going you never know who you're reaching and who you're inspiring to do the same you guys are inspiring people whether you know it or not Please know that you're an inspiration and you're loved for it and appreciate it. Okay. The Sagittarius is facing the fact that spirit has no mercy on their soul for hurting you. These people are all over the place. They are breaking down and spirit is not protecting them. They are going to um, have to sit in the energy based on what they cause you. So um, a lot of pain is coming for a lot of people and it's, it's, you guys are stronger than all than I'm hearing all of these people. You know, survival don't look good for a lot of these people. It don't. Sad to say, but um, it don't. And your spiritual team, nobody's feeling sorry for these people. They're getting what they deserve. This is karma that they've accumulated. They should have never come for you. They never should have hurt you and turned on you like that and threw you under the bus. You know, in regards to the Capricorn. This person never course corrected. They knew right from wrong. They should have been side by side helping you. Instead, they stayed in the past. Well, now they have to deal with trifling, trashy people from the past. Now they have to deal with more addictions. Being stuck is not good. It's not good. It's sad how people play with life. 
Life is a gift. You don't play with life. We're here to learn. It's, and I see these people. It is Some of these people are some of the saddest people I've ever seen in life. My God, have mercy on their souls. They, how can they throw away such a gift? God is beyond good. It's this, these people don't value life? Truly sad. Truly disheartening. In regards to an Aquarius who betrayed, who, um, betrayed you, Pisces, you guys got fed up. You're just done. You're over it. You don't want to hear it. You don't want to be around them. You feel like all they did was hold you back, keep you down, and block blessings. They always delayed things for you. You got fed up. You're out of there. You don't even want to. You don't even want to hear what they have to say. You don't care. You're over it. And I don't blame you. I don't like the energy. It's icky. And in regards to a Pisces that betrayed you, Pisces, these people are hitting rock bottom. The Pisces hit rock bottom. These people are going to go to jail, mentally and physically. They're going to lose homes. They're going to lose money. They're going to lose jobs. They're going to lose their stability. Some of them, unfortunately, they will be homeless. They will be casted out. Everybody's going to be telling them off. This person is going to be hit with so many things left and right and all around. And they cannot run from it. They feel it's coming. They know it's coming. A lot of them, unfortunately, they've given up. They better go God's way and get back up and go right. That's, that's, the, that's the real way to go. But some of these people are so ridiculous. They just refuse to do what's right. I'm hearing somebody feels worthless because they know they, tro they chose wrong. They chose, I'm hearing trolls. They chose trolls. They chose a life of drugs. The things that they're doing, it's just ungodly. It's unsavory. It's just, oh nasty they have to hit rock bottom because that's spirit saying this is your chance to get back up for them and unfortunately some of them are not going to get back up a lot of them have thrown in a towel they know that it's over they know the next time they cross the judge in the wrong way or the next time they cross you they know it's over for them even if you guys you know are not even feeling anything no effects because you've outgrown all that nonsense and negativity these people will still try to send a ritual. They'll still try to send a spell. They'll still try to lie on your name. And people are just like telling them at this point to just shut up because they know it's all fabricated. It's lies. It's made up. It's make believe. It's just ridiculous at this point. It doesn't even make sense. They can't even lie good anymore. Wow. It's like I, I'm hearing a lot of people are getting casted out for um, hurting you. And they deserve that. You guys have some messages from the Love and Light deck by Doreen Virtue. It says, cooperation and partnership brings great rewards. From Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9, it says, two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. You guys are great when you guys work with other people and alone. But I feel like people who really love you and value, they value your partnership because you are a go-getter. You guys get things done and they love your resilience. It's, let me read from the book. It says, God gives each of us specific spiritual gifts and unique strengths. This is what you guys have from um, the first book of Corinthians, chapter 12, verse 1, verses 1 through 11. In partnerships, we can blend these gifts and strengths with others, forming a cooperative team of complementary talents. One person may be great at receiving creative inspiration, while another is wonderful at implementing these ideas in tangible form god made all of us different for a reason we become stronger when we work together to complete a task and this also applies when we pray with others alone we can feel overwhelmed whereas together with mutual support mountains can be moved if you find yourself needing the support of others you can pray for the right people to come into your life create the space so this can happen for example by volunteering or joining a church a class or a club in this way You'll meet like-minded people for friendship and cooperative projects. So you guys would do great working with the right people who are supportive, people who are who cooperate, people who bounce really good ideas onto you and vice versa. Your other message is you guys have to become still so that you may hear God. This is from Job chapter 12, verse 10. For the life of every living thing is in his hand and the breath of every human being. 
I don't know if the video is going to cut off or not, but if it does, I wish you all forever abundance and I hope that you guys resonate with these messages, but I'm going to read as much as I can. Many children naturally hear the voice of God and they trust the divine guidance they receive. They don't question whether it's their imagination wandering or if they are really hearing God, but somewhere along the line, we as adults often begin to question everything, including God. If you're having difficulty hearing God's guidance for you, try going outside. It's worth the investment of time, even if it involves traveling to find a quiet spot in nature where you can commune with your creator. Disconnecting from the noise of the world allows you to disengage from distractions. Turn off your phone and step into God's office, the great outdoors, which he created as a sanctuary for everyone. Spend a few moments admiring God's handiwork. Listen to the birds singing. Watch the butterflies dancing. Run your fingers along the flower petals and tree bark. Praise God for his gift of nature and divine right into your conversation. Pour your heart out to God, also remembering to still your mind and listen to his replies, which come softly into your head and heart. Talk to God like the loving parent that he is. God is with you. Find peace in your prayers. Pray often. Go outside and pray by a tree, at a park, at a beach. Have that quiet, peaceful time with God and work with people who honor God, honor themselves, and are good to you. And corroborate support of loving, kind-hearted, good people. Vibe with your tribe. Okay. Pisces, I hope the messages in this karma reading resonate with all of you, as many of you as humanly possible. I'm glad that it didn't cut off. I wish you all so much happiness, abundance, forever abundance, prayers answered, peace, serenity, hope, success, and abundance at all times. God bless you all. Bye, Pisces.